Suits are fun. So I figured why not talk of top five most interesting suits slash skins within Arkham City. All conveniently available once you get the game. About nine total. I'll just say the ones I cut short are the three gray suits, which are only notable if you're familiar for books, and the Sinestro suit. Che is suit of color, but literally has never happened in the comics. So a figure gets the five I'm definitely interchanging with. Five, Dark Knight Returns, also Ben Affleck. This is just a really weird, freaky suit. It shows something unique with City compared to Nightwear. It's not just similar suit molds over the same body, because Batman has to have exposed lower face, but it's literally entire skin, and it really shows with Dark Knight Returns. It makes me feel like a prime old man. It makes me feel hardcore with, you know, how that version of the character is. Number four, the Batman animated series suit. I cannot tell you how really cool it is to have like the original look that Kevin Connery voice within this game. Kind of makes you feel like you're playing a game of a series. It's simple enough to feel like the cartoon, but has that slight sort of graininess to not seem too out of place in Arkham City. Kind of just wish one or two of the villains also adopted the sort of skin when into mode. That with Hamill Joker could be cool. Imagine a Mr. Freeze boss with that look. It does happen automatically with other back characters like Catwoman and Robin which is kind of funny for each of them. Since this is clearly Dick Grayson Robin, skinned over Tim Drake, and you've seen Batman the Animated Series, you know that Catwoman is an animal rights activist and very different from the Arkham City version. But I still end up using her a bit because it's the only ever alt costume for Catwoman available in the game, outside of when her normal costume is tattered up, thanks to tying the other Animated Series skin. Like that long Halloween Catwoman suit is so good, why can't we see that in the main game with ease? Anyway, Number three, Batman Beyond. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly a big fan of the Batman Beyond costume. Terry might be my least favorite Batfam member. However, the voice coming out is Kevin Conroy, so it's Bruce Batman in the suit for all I care. I don't know, it's just a cool and slick suit. It gives a real sense of power that an oversuit quite does. I like the uniform look and the lack of cape. I like this sort of effort to adapt more skin tight Batman Beyond look compared to whatever later armored versions. Fun suit. Number two, the original suit. It is an upper gray suit, but it's the original. It's the one you generally weather for the game through. Associate with his Batman. All the other ones are cool variants, but this is a good one to go back to to reflect. But there is one more skin that is more my default skin. That is the 70s Batman suit. Mm, damn, this is a good one. Never knew I'd like blue gray so much, but damn, does it work well. It just feels so good like the superhero -y face sculpt, the way it contrasts the Arkham City skies. Most people talk of feeling like Batman, but after doing a cathartic room takedown of his suit, I just feel like a superhero. That's just the main thing for the suit. Much like how Saurian really elevated my love for the Triceratops, this game, with all the griminess it has, elevated my love for blue and gray Batman look. So good.